All right, so uh, today we're going to do a little learning about what a gravity furnace is and what makes it so inefficient uh, and why I still have one in my house. Um, so here you can see the outside of the gravity furnace. Uh, uh, there's a, uh, that's a washing machine for reference. Uh, so you can see it's a pretty big device. Uh, and you got this duct right here. Uh, and there's one on the other side. Uh, those are the cool air return ducts. And the air will enter into the outer shell of the furnace down uh, at the bottom there. And it'll be heated up by a uh, big burner enclosure on the inside. And the air will kind of flow around the outside of that burner enclosure, which is ceramic lined. And then it'll go up through the rest of the house. So as it heats up, you know, air becomes less dense and it flows through all these little octopus tentacle things to, uh, to the actual ducts. Uh, at which point the air then recycles back through the house. And you can see we have this nice little we got this nice little exhaust deal that goes up to the uh, the central chimney, same place my hot water heater goes. Uh, and I just got this thing uh, fired up earlier today, so that's good, I, I guess. Uh, we'll kind of sneak around this lamp over here, take a closer look at what we're dealing with. Uh, we got a big gas line, three quarter inch gas line. Notice the valve is now open. Um, gives us our, uh, our pressure regulator, then there's a uh, Honeywell burner control. Uh, you can see that little silvery guy on the top, that, that bent silver, I think it's probably aluminum line coming out the top, that's the pilot line. Um, those two wires on the left right there, they're, uh, they go to that little high voltage uh, igniter, that's the clicking noise you hear. Apparently that always operates, although it reduces in frequency which once the uh, the pilot light's lit, which it is now. Um, that copper wire right there, um, you kind of see it comes out right below that red button. That's the thermocouple wire. That's what lets the burner control know that the uh, the pilot light or the main burner are on. Um, so if the light goes off, then the burner shuts down. Blue knob has three positions, off, pilot, and on. Right now it's on on. And I have my heat upstairs cranked up all the way. And then that little red button right there, uh, when I go to pilot, when I uh, need to restart it for the season or after it mysteriously shuts off, which I'm sure it will do at some point in the middle of the winter, uh, you hold down that little red button that gives you gas, kind of overrides the, thermo overrides the thermocouple for a couple seconds, um, gives you gas to your pilot light. Until the pilot light has a, uh, a heated the thermocouple up enough to convince the furnace that the thermocouple is lit, at which point it will stay lit by itself. Uh, we come down in here, just barely, just barely see the pilot light up there. See it's uh, right there. That was one of the issues we found with the furnace is that the pilot light was not adjusted properly, so I had to uh, get in there and tweak that a little bit. But everything else is pretty good. Um, pulled the Honeywell manual off the internet. It looks like it's still a decent unit. Um, I don't think it's actually been around that long. It's probably been replaced at some point, although the burner itself is pretty old. So, now we're going to go up here. Uh, there's this big clean-out door right here. If we open that up, you can see that's the inside of that ceramic line chamber uh, around which all the air flows to heat up. Now we're going to go up here. There's a secondary controller of some kind right here. haven't figured out exactly what it does. Um, I think it might be a something that looks at the um, the uh, you know flue gas temperature or something. But I know it's got a mercury tilt switch in it. And if I go like this, little pilot light clicks on. Hear that gas? Hear that thing fire up? And now a uh, little window into why these things are so inefficient. Wow, that's uh, that's awesome.